According to director William Friedkin, audiences take from The Exorcist whatever they bring to it. If that's true, then the millions who've experienced this extraordinary shocker since it first opened in 1973 have brought a mixture of elation, excitement, anxiety, fear, paranoia, and even dementia to this most notorious of chillers. Nominated for 10 Oscars and hailed by the Catholic News as a deeply spiritual film, The Exorcist struck a chord with audiences who'd lived through the horrors of Manson, Nixon and Vietnam and who were ready for a tale about ancient devils at large in the modern world. To this day, The Exorcist presents such a credible portrayal of the supernatural that some find it too terrifying to endure. This is cinema as magical incantation and as any sorcerer's apprentice knows, even good magic can be dangerous. Although fictional, The Exorcist was inspired by a real-life story reported in the Washington Post in 1949 about the alleged possession and exorcism of a young boy whose symptoms included uncontrollable rages, the hideous transformation of voice and features, and the appearance of weird skin markings forming numbers, letters, and even words. For Jesuit-educated writer William Peter Blatty, this story offered uplifting evidence of transcendence, for if there were demons, then there was also a God and a heaven and a life everlasting. And it was that tremendous reaffirmation of faith that he attempted to inject into both the novel and screenplay of The Exorcist, bringing his audience to an awareness of divinity through an encounter with the forces of evil which would literally scare the hell out of them. In the hands of Oscar-winning director William Friedkin, The Exorcist became a brutally realistic portrayal of ghastly satanic infestation, unflinching in its depiction of the obscene desecration of an innocent young girl. The version of The Exorcist you're about to see is the uncut original, which, although always available to audiences of all ages in America, was banned on video in Britain for over a decade for fear that it could harm younger viewers. That fear remains very real. This is not a film for children, and even adults are advised to proceed with caution. There are many reported cases of viewers having been seriously traumatised by what was recently voted the scariest film ever made. If you want transcendent terror, stay tuned for The Exorcist. If you want a good night's sleep, switch off now.